hello pray and share warriors how are y'all doing tonight i hope that you are doing so awesome it is saturday and tomorrow is sunday and guess what i think it's raining outside my door again so i think it's rained like two or three times today and the rivers should be really clean and really good to go next month or I don't know sometime this month maybe maybe in a week or two all right so what I want to talk to you tonight about is I can't believe I forget sometimes praise the Lord in all things praise the Lord in all things yes all things and so the song that I shared was uh, called Sing by Chris Tomlin and Friends. And it's a really good song. So I'm going to share with you what I wrote. And that, if you get a chance, go listen to that song. It's really good. And I have some scriptures too. I'm kind of chilly right now. Um, it's been hot, now it's chilly. But let's jump into some prayer. I was fixing to grab my scripture and forget to pray, and that wouldn't be good. So, God, we just, we come before you, God. We thank you that you are on your throne and you are in control, God. We thank you for the rain. We don't know what we need, but you do. You know what every plant on your universe that you created needs. And you know... Um, you know, you have been sustaining things for years, God, so you have this all under control. We're just thankful. God, you are the our creator. You are our sustainer, our protector, our provider. You are our shelter in the storm. You are our strength and our refuge, God. You're on your throne and in control. And we just thank you, God. We just praise you. We just want to praise you in all things, even when things aren't good, God. We want to praise you anyway. God, we just pray for, um, we just thank you that you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness. However, you are loving and kind and compassionate and patient. You want none to suffer. You want none to perish, God. God, we just thank you for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. God, we pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth and that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We pray for the prodigals, God. We just pray for them to see where they are, to remember where they were, to return to you and to repent, God. We pray for all the disasters that are going on, the wars and the rumors of wars and volcanoes, earthquakes, floods, all of it, God. We just know that this world is in your hands. And we just pray that you would meet these people where they are and that you would meet their needs. We just pray for all the people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength that they would feel your presence every day, God. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So I hear my son in there laughing. <laughs> oh my, that boy cracks me up. Yesterday that milkshake, clapping in the back seat because I was ordering him a milkshake. He is so funny. Okay, so this is what I shared today. This song is called Sing. And um, it's just about singing praises to God, singing hallelujah to God. Um, so I wrote, I love this song and message by Chris Tomlin and friends. <clears throat> Russell Dickerson in Florida, Georgia line. Chris Tomlin last year did some Christian music that has a country flair with Christian lyrics, and this is one of them. He did like a whole album with all these country singers, and they were all Christian songs, and they're so good. 
Um, I woke up with the words, praise him in all things. My favorite way to praise is by singing songs of praise to God. I usually have a song stuck in my head that is playing over and over, or just part of it, every day. I look at this as a blessing that keeps me in praise mode for God. I just love to sing praises to God even when I am doing other things. I have a song on my mind and heart. These lyrics fit me and how I feel about what God has done in my life since I gave my life to Him by salvation through Jesus. It has been an exciting, at times, cross-country race through hills and valleys, but I'm never alone, ever. All day praise and worship sure does make me happy. Christian music is all that I listen to, and there are so many representations of all genres, country, rock, pop, praise and worship, gospel, and hymns too. So many choices for us to praise God, praise for us to praise to God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit every day without fail. Join me today in just singing all about God. Remember all the things that He has done in your life. Is Jesus your Savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish, John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. So that's what I wrote today. And I wish I could play this song for you, but they'll mute my video. So just look it up. It's called Sing, featuring Russell Dickerson, Florida Georgia Line, Chris Tomlin lyrics. Very good song. Uh, you don't have to look it up. Just play it on this. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I was thinking old school. All right, well, let's look up some scriptures about praising God. And guess where they are. Guess where most of them are. Most of them are in Psalms. Because Psalms is, a lot of Psalms is about praying, uh, praising, praising God. And praying, praying and praising. So I'm going to move this. can't stand it up right there where the camera is okay uh, Psalm 47 47 says this I think we'll just read all of it I really like uh, Psalm Psalms and clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. And, and terrible is not the same terrible. I think um, in this context, it is like he is mighty. He is powerful. He is majestic. Um... He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved, Selah. God is gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises unto our King, sing praises, for God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God sitteth upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong unto, the, unto God. He is greatly exalted. So that is a good psalm about singing praises. So we need to praise God in all things. And sometimes we're going through hard things and we don't think about praising we think about complaining and we think about being sad we think about being angry we think about all the things that we're not supposed to be 
But if we turn our thoughts back to praising God, even in our hurt or in our brokenness, it uh, will shift our focus away from what's going on in our lives and will help us realize what's really most important, which is God. Okay, so Psalm 96. Let's read Psalm 96. I think we'll just read all of it. I'm going to get a drink real quick. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord, bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give unto the Lord, O ye kindreds of people. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Fear before him all the earth. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. The world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice, and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar in the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful in all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. So we're going to sing unto the Lord a new song. And we'll sing a new song in heaven too. That's a that's in Revelation. That we'll sing a new song to God. Okay, Psalm 104. 104, 33. It's a little bit longer. It says, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. I just thought of a psalm that I really like too. Um, I'm going to sing it. I'm going to not sing it. I'm going to say it too. It is um, Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. So make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Now believe that um, when we praise God from our hearts, not just a mouthing some words at you, I mean from our hearts, like we connect with these lyrics, because a lot of these lyrics are scriptural. A lot of them are from the scripture. So when we connect with the words um, and we sing from our hearts, from our souls, then I believe that God smiles. I believe it does. We talked about moving God's heart. I believe it does move his heart when we are praising and we are doing it from a sincere heart place. We're just not mouthing some words to God. Which I'll be honest, I have been guilty of doing before. But I believe that when we are sincerely worshiping and praising God, I believe it pleases Him. Alright, so let's 
So where am I now on my list? Psalms 147.1. I didn't take any allergy medicine today and uh, my nose itches today okay Psalm 147 says this praise ye the Lord for it is good to sing praises unto our God for it is pleasant and praise is comely the Lord doth build up Jerusalem he gathereth together the outcast of Israel he healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds he telleth the number of the stars he calleth them all by their names great is our lord and of great power this understanding is infinite the lord lifteth up the meek he casteth the wicked down to the ground sing unto the lord with thanksgiving sing praise upon the harp unto our god who covereth the heaven with clouds who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth it to he giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens which cry. He delighteth not in the strength of the horse, he taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. So it does please him when we praise him. Okay, let's do 151. Did I already do that one? No, that one's like... Well, wow, these last 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, they all start with, praise ye the Lord. Okay, so I think I'm going to read 149 and 150. So Psalm 149 says, praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in, in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with a timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. And then Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I like that song too. I like that Let Everything That Has Breath Praise the Lord. I like that song too. Okay, here's my Forever Home sign that I messed up on. I used it to do my scriptures on tonight. Okay, so let's see what God and I talked about this morning. Such a good song that I'm listening to. The getting ready. These people, they have written such beautiful praise and worship music. It's a getting ready by Maverick City Music and Upper Room. And I'm sorry I can't let you hear it. Um, look it up on YouTube. Or look 
on my regular page because it's got to be there. I've got to have shared it sometime there. Maybe on this one too. I don't know. Okay, so um, I'm just going to skip down. It says, Child, be thankful in all things, even while you are learning through hard times. You are never alone, child, as you wrote the other day. Jesus and the Holy Spirit are always with you to guide you. Child, yesterday was a good family day. Work on getting your summer organized, child, today, and thinking about where you are headed to next. And uh, I said, I would like to spend this day organizing summer and some things that Seth and I can do away from the TV. Even some things we can do as a family this summer. There are so many things that I want to do. Write, make jewelry, do lyric videos, teach Seth how to play on his own. Just so much, God. Organizing it would help me to focus on one thing at a time. I still need to be doing my cleaning projects too. Help me to keep moving forward to find something that will bring extra income also. Help me to make better food choices, as in Romans 12.1. Help me to sacrifice in other ways, too. Thank you, God, for meeting me this morning. I will praise you in all things. This is an important lesson that you taught me years ago, and I will share it with others, too. So, child, continue to be obedient in all that I ask, and I have your best interest at heart. I am looking out for you. All you have to do is wait, trust, and praise me for all things to fall into place. Seeking my kingdom first is the key to a successful, not perfect Christianity journey. Keep following Jesus. He is never too far away. Keep him in your sights at all times, child. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. Jesus is coming soon. And your forever home is not here, but not there, not, not here, but here in heaven with us. Being ready, child. Be ready, child. Be ready. The best is here, like here in heaven. And I said, Maranatha, God, so I am ready for Jesus to come get us. But... I know that we're all on assignment too. If you're a Christian, you're on assignment. You work for God. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot to be done before Jesus comes back. So how are we going to do the salvation message tonight? I was looking at this earlier. It says eternal life. It says, do you know for certain that you have eternal life? and that you will go to heaven when you die. God wants you to be sure. The Bible says, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. 1 John 5, 13. Another question to consider is, suppose you are standing before God right now and he asked you, why should I let you into my heaven? What do you think you would say? You may not know what you would say, but you can know because God loves you and has a purpose for your life. The Bible states it this way, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 So God's purpose I like the little pictures in here God's purpose is that we have eternal life That is what God wants for all of us We receive eternal life as a free gift The gift of God is eternal life In Christ Jesus our Lord Romans 6.23 We can live a full and meaningful life right now I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. John 10.10 10. We will spend eternity with Jesus in heaven. I go and prepare a place for you. I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. John 14.3 
Eternal life gives meaning to life, yet our sinful nature keeps us from fulfilling God's purpose for our lives. Thus, our need is to understand our problem. We are all sinners by nature and by choice. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 We cannot save ourselves, not by work so that no one can boast. Ephesians 2.9 We deserve death and hell. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23 it is true that God is holy and just and must punish sin, yet he loves us and has provided forgiveness for our sin, Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, John 14:6. The good news is that God has provided for the forgiveness of our sins. God's provision is Jesus Christ. Jesus is God and became man. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. John 1, 1 and 14. Jesus died for us on the cross, for Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive by the Spirit. 1 Peter 3.18 Jesus was resurrected from the dead. He was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Romans 4.25 That is good news, but the only way Jesus can affect our lives is for us to receive him. The Bible says, Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. John 1.12 The choice is ours. Thus, our response is to receive Jesus. We must repent of our sin. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. Acts 3.19 Repentance is is not just feeling sorry for our sin. They should repent and turn to God and prove their repentance by their deeds. Acts 26, 20. Repentance is turning to God through Jesus and away from our sin. It's like making a U-turn. As we turn, we must place our faith in Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, Ephesians 2, 8. Faith is not just believing facts about Jesus. You believe that there is one God, good. Even the demons believe that and shudder, James 2, 19. Faith is trusting in Jesus. It's like taking a trip on an airplane. You will never make the trip until you trust the plane enough to board it. Three important questions. Does what you have been reading make sense to you? Actually, I've been reading it to you. Is there any reason you would not be willing to receive God's gift of eternal life? Are you willing to place your faith in Jesus right now and turn from your sins? The Bible says, for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, calls on the name of the Lord, will be saved, Romans 10:13. You need to ask the Lord Jesus to save you. Read this prayer and see if it says what you want to say to God. All right, I'm going to read it to you. Dear God, I know that Jesus is your son and that he died on the cross and was raised from the dead. I know I have sinned and need forgiveness. I am willing to turn from my sins and receive Jesus as my Savior and Lord. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 
It says, call upon, call on the Lord in repentance and faith using these or similar words of your own. And Jesus will become your Savior and Lord. Welcome to the family of God. If you sincerely prayed this prayer, you have just made the most important decision of your life. You can be sure you are saved and have eternal life. As you begin your journey, it is important to realize that Jesus wants to do more than just reside in your life. He wants to be Lord of your life. The Bible says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Romans 10, 9 through 10. Confessing Jesus as Lord is more than just words. Not everyone says to me, who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Matthew 7, 21. Confessing Jesus as Lord means trusting him to direct our lives. Trusting Jesus to direct our lives is like driving down the highway with another person. As long as you are driving, you are in charge. If you realize you don't know the way, but the other person does, you might say, you take the wheel and drive. Then the other person is in charge, and the two of you take the route he or she chooses. As evidence of confessing Jesus as Lord, you will want to identify with him. The New Testament way of identification is to confess Jesus publicly. Matthew 10:32 through 33 and to follow him in baptism in church membership Acts 2:41 Your assurance you know you have eternal life because God keeps his promises you repented of your sin Acts 3:19 you placed your faith in Jesus Ephesians 2:8 through 9 God heard your prayer for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved Romans 10:13 God recorded your commitment rejoice that your names are written in heaven Luke 10:20 You need to grow as a Christian The Bible calls new Christians babes in Christ 1 Corinthians 3:1 Without certain essentials babies will not develop normally The church is to a new Christian what the home and family are to a baby you identify with your new family by confessing Jesus publicly, by experiencing believers' baptism. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. Acts 2.41 Attend church Sunday and share with the pastor that you want to be baptized and become a member of the church. Praying is to spiritual life what breathing is to physical life. Breathing must be regular and continuous. The Bible says pray continually. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Learn to be specific in your praying. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 1.9 God's word is to new Christians what good food is to a baby. Good food is a daily requirement for proper go growth. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. 1 Peter 2.2 2. So then the rest of this is um, personal things that you fill out. and kind of tips for a new believer and this is the North American Mission Board that did this eternal life track so if you prayed and you received Jesus tonight as your Savior then welcome to the kingdom family of God and the things that were in the back of that book about reading God's Word and praying and I talked about praise tonight I think that praise moves God's heart. If we do it from our heart, if we praise from our heart, it moves God's heart. It pleases Him. I believe it puts a smile on His face. 
All right, well, I am going to do a blessing from God. And I'm going to pray. And uh, I'm trying my best to shorten this to where I think it's more appealing for people when it's not over an hour long. They're going to come closer to listening to something that's less than an hour. So, um, this is a blessing from God in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So, I'm going to pray real quick. God, we just thank you. We thank you that you do so much in our lives and we have so much to praise you for and to thank you for God we know that you want only good things for us you have a plan and purpose for every one of us thank you for being our protector our provider thank you for the blessings thank you for the blessings of rain only you God and your supreme authority know when we've had enough rain so just help us to be thankful God, we just pray that um, the lost would be saved, God, through Jesus. That you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, God. We pray for all the people that are out there that are your prodigals that have strayed away, God. We pray that they would come back. We just pray, God, for all the sick out there. We just pray for healing for them. And we just pray that you would bless us with a good night tonight. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, well my pray and share warriors, I am going to get off of here. Uh, have an awesome rest of the night and an awesome Sunday tomorrow. I hope you get to go and worship and praise with your church family. If you don't have a church family, then come to Walnut Springs Baptist Church. We have Sunday school at 9.30, and we have worship at 11. So you are welcome to come. We are in Walnut Springs, Texas, though. Uh, we are right off the highway. You can't miss it. And uh, just come if you want to come. We have a pastor that preaches out of the Bible. It's awesome lessons. We have praise and worship to God every Sunday. And in Sunday school, we are learning great things. So, uh, much love. God bless you all and your families. Much love. Cyber hugs. Till I see you again. Good night.